I saw the news report. I didn't know she tried to contact me. But I'd also say it's not about you, Kamala. Right. It's about the people of Florida. Indeed. So you've been waiting for. If this is your first time listening to the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share so we can continue bringing you the best content. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started right away. Vice President Kamala Harris is again in the news. She's making news because she's attacking none other than the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, Republican governor of the free state of Florida. I don't know if she got the memo that she should not be picking on Governor DeSantis. <laughs> but guess what? She did. And I'm just going to play what she had to say. And we're going to continue diving into it because she must have lost her mind. Like, she's trying to take on DeSantis too? Oh, lady, you in for a rude awakening. Let's watch the video. NBC is reporting Governor DeSantis is ignoring your call. Here. You know, moments of crisis, if, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now. And playing political games at this moment in these crisis situations, these are the height of emergency situations, it's just utterly irresponsible and it is selfish about political gamesmanship instead of doing the job that you took an oath to do, which is to put the people first. As you can see on the video, the VP is trying to make it seem like Governor DeSantis is trying to politicize this catastrophic event that happened through, due to Hurricane Helene. I just don't know where her rationale, her thoughts come from, but before I even show you DeSantis' response, Let's look at some of the facts. Hurricane Helene impacted Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and parts of Virginia. Hundreds of people died. Hundreds of people missing. And you know when someone is missing during these natural disasters and those people are not found within reasonable amount of hours or a couple of days, most likely they have perished. And it is a sad thing to say, but those are just some of the facts. Another fact, right before Hurricane Helene hit all these areas, the administration gave to Ukraine $2.7 billion. I just don't know how this happened. And they knew the hurricane was coming, and they knew how big this hurricane was being announced by the weather people, by the meteorologists, and the fact that even knowing that's going to happen, we're going to send more money to Ukraine, we're going to send more money to Israel, we're going to send more money to Iran, we're going to send more money to Taiwan, we're going to send money everywhere except use the money for American citizens, for America. And that's why I said when I said this administration puts America last and everyone else first. But let's continue talking about the facts. Kamala Harris was campaigning when these states were being hit and feeling all the damages of Hurricane Helene. She did not visit any other affected area until October the second. That's about five days, give or take, since the hurricane hit line made landfall in Florida. Then she goes and say on a you know on the press that she's going to give they are going to give the affected family seven hundred and fifty dollars. All they have to do is get online and apply. Lady, people lost everything. There is no communication. There is no cell phone line. There is no computer. There is nothing. People are devastated. How in the heck 
are they going to get online and apply for a measurable $750? And some of the people that have been able to apply, they are getting denied the $750. And then Secretary Mayorkas came out and said that FEMA doesn't have enough funds for the hurricane season. They don't have enough money. So how is it that you are going to help the American populace, the people, when your own FEMA director is saying they don't have enough money to last through the hurricane season? The hurricane season doesn't end until November 30th. And right now, we are about to get hit in Florida by another hurricane. So far, it's a Cat 5 hurricane, Hurricane Milton. How is the federal government helping people? <sighs> but just giving the facts, people. Don't kill the messenger. Fiscal year 2023. FEMA had. $363 million were allocated for shelter service program for illegal migrants. That was in fiscal year 2023. Now in fiscal year 24, they have spent $640 million in shelter and service program for migrants, for illegal migrants to provide illegal migrants benefit, to provide illegal migrants housing and all this other stuff. Why in the heck are we spending so much money on illegal migrants and only giving $750 to American citizens who have been paying taxes, who live here, who are here legally, who were born here, who became US citizen, who have worked their butts off, who put money in the economy, who invest in our economy, who contributes to our economy, why are we not providing assistance to those people? Hmm? And you Democrats think us conservatives, we just don't like your party? It's not that we don't like your party, it's that we don't like the people that are running your party and how you defend these people when they are doing nothing for America, when they are bringing us close to World War Three, when we keep sending money overseas and spending all this money on words that have nothing to do with us, but yet we are unable to take care of our own. That's why we don't like this administration. That's why we can't stand the Kamala Harris and the Joe Bidens. That's why we can't stand all of you who are blind and cheap and put these people on a pedal, on a pedagogy, uh, and who are blind and put these people on a gold pedal. Like, for real, give me a freaking break. So, like I said before, it took like five days to visit any of the affected areas. And she went there on October 2nd. What happened right next, right the next day? She went to freaking campaigning and she there says that we supposed to take care of the people, the people that are led so there to do our job for the people that elected us. So why in the heck took you so long to visit the affected areas? You go for one day and then you go back to campaigning. We didn't elect you to be campaigning. You still supposed to be doing the job that you got elected for, but you're not doing that job. So like DeSante said, and you're gonna see, she better look herself in the mirror before she makes any comments because it is, mind-blowing but yeah those are just some of the facts and then i'm gonna show you the video of what DeSantis had to say and we're gonna continue moving because this administration if you don't wake up if you don't realize if you don't go out and vote it's gonna be the destruction of america play the video in these crisis situations there are these are the height of emergency situations. It's just utterly irresponsible and it's selfish and it's about political gamemanship. What's your response? Well, I think she should look in the mirror. We've been on an emergency footing uh, for two weeks straight, round the clock, 24 seven. Uh, we've been working, my office, our Division of Emergency Management, 
helping people prepare for Hurricane Helene, helping effectuate rescues of people after Hurricane Helene, helping people pick up the pieces of their lives after Helene, and then have to also turn around and prepare for major impacts and maybe even more impacts uh, from Hurricane Milton, be able to have rescue personnel ready to help people, and then, of course, help with the power restoration, all these things to do. So that's been my sole focus. Uh, my focus has not been on dealing with, with Kamala Harris. Um, I, did, I saw the news report. I didn't know she tried to contact me. But I'd also say it's not about you, Kamala. Right. It's about the people of Florida. My focus is exactly where it should be. And I can tell you this. I've worked with, on these hurricanes under both President Trump and President Biden. Neither of them ever tried to politicize it. She has never called on any of the storms we've had since she's been vice president until apparently now. Why all of a sudden is she trying to parachute in and inject herself when she's never shown any interest in the past? We know it's because of politics. We know it's because of her campaign. I have zero time uh, to entertain these political games. We're going to continue to do what we need to do to prepare and respond to what may be one of the most damaging storms in the history of the United States. So she says focusing on protecting your people is selfish. I think she ought to look in the mirror. Mm. You see, this is why I say it. you have to love Governor DeSantis. He doesn't play those games straight to the point. No sugar coating, fats and fats. And like he said, he's taking care of Florida. He's taking care of the state. And Kamala, what's your role? You're not even in the chain of command. You got no role to be talking about this thing. You never call, and you have always shown that you don't care about nothing that happens in America. You where the borders are. How many times did you go to the border? Exactly. So now you're trying to make it seem like you care. Oh, let me call about Hurricane Helene. He didn't answer my call. Get that F out of here with that BS, man. Did you go to Florida? I don't recall you coming to Florida when we got here with Hurricane Ian. And I happen to go right through where I live. Yeah, you don't give a crap about anybody but yourself and sending money. That's what you guys care. Sending money overseas, making this country into a socialist country, giving rights to illegal, taking stuff from American citizens who bust their asses. But yeah, and you care about this country, get out of here. But anyways, people, this is it for now. I will see you in the next one.